hey guys welcome back um i've been thinking about this a lot um about why forex trading is so difficult um not just because of the 1990 uh, rule but in general it's a very difficult um uh, career to be in and the truth is here's here's what i found so you'll hear that a lot of traders say that 90 percent of trading is mental and 10 percent is actually a uh, skill and technical analysis and fundamental analysis and I found that the reason why it's so difficult is that it's really difficult to uh, stick to your trading plan and your strategy, especially if someone gives you a plan or a strategy that they've tested and they know it works. It's still very difficult to implement yourself, even if you uh, tested it yourself and it works. Um, once you're in it and you uh, you take a few punches in the markets, you realize how difficult it actually is. And it reminds me of uh, the Mike Tyson uh a quote he said where he said everyone has a game plan until they get knocked until they uh, they get knocked in the ring and that really is what it's like you can plan all you want you can strategize all you want but once you start taking hits and losses and sometimes 17 uh, losses in a row and you're not controlling the, those losses it could really crush you um it's really hard uh it's hard to master the psychological aspect of trading that's the major thing so yes technical analysis you've been doing technical analysis for a year two years it's really hard to master the psychological aspect of it and like what i mean by that is that in way of the turtle they said it took them four weeks they were trained for four weeks and now i remember at the end of the book they were actually saying that they've limited it to five days they're going to be training people for five days only and so it, it makes you wonder these are like multi multi millionaire uh, traders i think the guy uh, dennis richards had a net worth of way above 500 million and this is someone who started off from nothing saying was teaching people for five days um and saying it doesn't take that long to learn and realistically uh, even in reading Curtis Faith's book, um, Way of the Turtle, he actually does talk about how they were all trained by the same people, yet very few succeeded. They used the same strategy, same amounts, um, same risk, everything. The information was all the same. Why is it that very few succeeded where they were all taught by the same person? And it was just, I think it was way down to uh, psychological aspects. And I would recommend reading The Chimp Paradox. So this lays it out completely. And it just says that this book, The Chimp Paradox, um, you can read it if you want. It talks about how humans, we have uh, a human aspect to us and also a chimp um, aspect. Because we, we did uh, develop from, uh, from, from the animal kingdom. And so the chimp aspect of you is the irrational you that you have to control in trading. So in the book... Um, how do you control the chimp aspect of us? And in the book, he said, you can either distract the monkey or you can tame the monkey. Um, distracting, what I thought about distracting the monkey would be, uh, there should be a time where once you've placed your trade, you've set your stop losses, turn off the MT4, completely turn it off, go do something else, go read a book, go watch a movie, go do something else, go play sport, go exercise, uh, pray, meditation, something to just distract you from the markets. Um, I heard... Uh, uh, I think his name is Mike Belafiore. He wrote the book. Um, what did he write? He wrote the book. I don't know. He wrote this thing. I forgot. I really liked his books, but I just forgot what they're called. And he was basically saying that uh, he tells his traders that um, once you've lost three trades in a row, he tells you to go outside and take a walk. Literally three strikes, you're out. Go take a walk, you're done for the day. And even those 3%, which is huge, you should stop trading because then you'll get into this process of revenge trading and um, that's terrible for you. Um, another book you should read is Mental Game of Poker. Now, it's mainly based on poker playing, but the reality is that it focuses on the uh, psych underlying psychological aspects of this industry, which is things that you should be careful of, which is fear, right? Excuse me. Fear, which is the fear of losing. Motivation which is basically uh, you focusing on how much you can profit so much so that you uh, you tend to minimize the risk of a trade and you go big and go home and you end up throwing your risk management out the window and confidence and uh, basically how many, 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 many losses in a row can actually take a hit at your confidence, which is why I think prayer and med meditation is very, very important in this industry, um, which is what I think uh, is how you can also um, distract and tame the monkey. Um, I remember someone else in the book, I think it was coming into my trading room, he talked about a woman who would, every time she switched on the computer, she would pray and say, this is God's money, don't lose God's money. And it was just about having accountability, which is another point um, I set here, which is that 
there, there are lack of consequences um, in this game in that the only consequence you get is that you lose your money. There's no outside consequence. And a solution I would have for that is that you should hold each other accountable. If you live close to someone who's also trading, um, hold each other accountable and um, ask each other and make sure that you're risking 1%. Don't trade together because that's a terrible idea. Don't share analysis together and try to um, try to trade the same thing. It will end disastrously. But hold each other accountable to risking 1% and to not trying to double, triple and quadruple your accounts. Um, and a lot of us are just generally self-taught, which is what I think is the most important here. You're self-taught, so we're learning a lot of things out of trial and error, and um, we're trying to figure it all out. And on top of that, there's scammers, there's scammer mentors and coaches and uh, course sellers knocking at us. So that also in itself makes this very hard, and it actually lengthens the time it takes for us to learn. Um, there's also a lack of equipment. So like you're trying to do technical analysis, the internet cuts off, or in my case, internet is very expensive. You're trying to do technical analysis on a phone because you can't afford a laptop, um, access to uh, fundamental news, which is relevant and on time. Uh, a lot of us have full-time jobs, so the time to actually dedicate to technical analysis and to uh, reading a lot and reading a lot on fundamentals is really, really low. So that makes life much harder. And then you're trying to uh, keep uh, a healthy balance on your account, right? So you're trying to keep a healthy balance on your account. At the same time, you have tuition fees for your kids. Um, you have tuition fees for your kids. You have um, rentals. You have family you need to care for. So that makes it a lot harder. And lastly, you're competing against the market makers who are trading against you anyways. Um, so you're, you're, you're buying on support and then they're dumping orders on the same support level. You get your stop losses hit and then you do the same the next day, the same next week. And you're still trying to also uh, make it in this world through FX. Um, I think that's those are the reasons I found for why it's really, really difficult.